Well, hello there, hello there. Uh, I didn't really want to make this video, but I've got to clear up something. There's been a couple of people who've wanted to have a go at me. In relation to the Thomas that you see right in the middle of the screen there, uh, I believe it's called Let's Go Thomas. I only just recently did a video about that one. And for some unknown reason, uh, I've had a few people who've been a little bit nasty in the comments area. And they said that basically I was reaching into my Thomas collection and basically re-showing stuff that has already been shown. Well, maybe I have looked at that Thomas before, uh, but I've probably totally forgotten about it. Down on the ground there is basically how my collection is stored. Uh, as you can see, there are many, many tubs of toys there. Those toys are not small tubs or should I say shallow tubs. They are nice deep tubs. Um, the amount of Thomas toys that I've got is actually quite staggering. Of course, I don't really care what condition they're in. Uh, basically, any Thomas is precious to me. I do tend to categorize them and have them all similar things in a tub. Uh, if I do see some new stuff, I try to get a little bit of mint in box. Uh, but as you can see there, hopefully there is basically some sort of order going on here. And if I lift things up, you just keep seeing more and more Thomases. One dilemma for me is if I was going to present this again on YouTube, it's been nearly three years since I've shown the whole collection. Uh, how do I do it in a way that really shows off the collection as a whole? Um, it has grown a lot uh, since I last looked at it, and that was one of my son's favorite ones. I remember the ones that really worked. It was that one there. Really nice, Thomas. And as you can see down there, I've got quite a few that which there are multiples of. Actually got one of those that came through the charity shop recently. That is the Lantern Thomas down the bottom there. There are other Thomases which are very, very common finds. Ones like that, uh, almost like dime a dozen. Um, that's a new Thomas. Like I said, if I see them at the right price, I'll grab a couple because I don't mind having some fresh stuff. I love things like this. This is one that a lady pulled me up on the street and she sort of knew what I did. She said, hey, I've got this amazing Thomas. That's a licensed toy there. I love the abstract ones like that. Of course, there's going to be tons of plush and things going on. Cases as well. That's very sun affected, but hey, I don't care. Of course, there were Thomas Minis. Okay, they were the ones from the collector wheel, but that is bag 61 in of series one. Um, more Thomas Minis there. Uh, more collector cases. And as you can see, it just goes on and on and on. Uh, the amount of variety is quite staggering. Uh, it is actually totally awesome. I, I never realized how wonderful it would be to collect this toy. What is another one? That's like the Tomy musical one. Um, although I don't... See, I can't remember if it worked or not. Um, that's part of my dilemma. Just going along here, I mean, it's bringing back some memories. I like things like that. It's almost like a bit of merchandise, but it's also a Thomas on top there. Um, that's one of my more recent Thomases there. I paid a bit of money for that, but I learned the lesson. I think we all know that Lego holds its value wonderfully well. Uh, that is my son's one. That's the 70th anniversary. I hope I got it right there. And as one of my viewers pointed out to me, it does work on Lego track. If only that was motorized. Maybe we can put a motor in that as a bit of a project. Um, that's my draw there of Thomas's that I have beside my review table because I'm always coming in and needing a Thomas for a shot or a comparison. There's a bit of, maybe a bit of chuggers in there as well. That's a knockoff Percy. Don't be distracted by him. Okay, uh, yeah, Thomas is like that. Uh, all sorts of things in there. And underneath this, this would be the scare one to get people talking. Down there is a whole tub of gold Thomas's because I like to give things away. When I do a giveaway, I'm always going to slap on a gold Thomas. So you're starting to get a gauge uh, for a little dilemma that has been uh, basically built up by this collection. Uh, really nice thing, the plush things. I love things like this. It's a little bag thing, okay? Lots of plushes, lots of variety in the plushes. I love that. The great big um, pillow pet. That's the big pillow pet there. We've got the normal size one. It's actually a size. In fact, there's a normal size one as well. I think there are mini ones as well. <laughs> it just keeps going on and on and on. Uh, underneath... The Thomas, which sort of uh, drew this video up, is uh, more of those, the 70th anniversary. If I saw it at the right price, I picked them up because uh, I'm not as for an investment because you're better off buying gold. There's real gold as an investment. Uh, let's just find the other Let's Go Thomas in my collection here. Uh, I'm not into the game of just generating uh, things on videos just to create views. That's the wooden stuff there. Sometimes underneath, no, there's just mint in box stuff there. Uh, 
that's the problem. And then all this stuff is actually stored. There's one of those Merit toys down the bottom there. I think I've got two of those now, maybe three. I don't know. Um, yeah, this is the problem. Trackmaster. Okay, if I like, I see, like I said, if I keep seeing it at the right price, I'll pick some up. Okay. Ooh. Okay. That's the Turbo Flip Thomas. There's a flush down there. That's the Mega Blocks. That's a great Thomas as well. That's it. I think this is it. Okay. I think that's the other one. So for the conspiracy people out there who thought I was playing games with your minds, mind you, this is playing a giant game of my mind. There's number one. Apparently I looked at that quite a few videos ago now, and I have Although I did say in the video, I said, when I saw the face and felt it, I just thought like I had one of these before. And I was correct. I mean, I don't think people are watching my videos properly. There's number one, and that is the second one. Let me grab these, and I'll take them over to the review table. I'm actually just curious whether this one works or not. Well, we'll see. Okay, well, that's the one we've taken a look at in the most recent collecting video. One of the droopy eyes, we love it like that. And this is the one which I looked way back in another video. I mean, it was nice that some people realised it's already been looked at. At least they're remembering things. Uh, but I don't quite like it when people come in and have a go. Let me see. Um, actually, before I put batteries in, let's take a look at that number on the bottom there. This is the one I looked at most recently. I can see 204J9 next to the screw there. And this is my older Let's Go Thomas. Uh, the screw is missing on this one, but I can see 204J9. So those who are saying it was some secret serial number, well, it's the same on both. Now, what was sort of surprising was the condition of these toys. This is the one I looked at in the most recent review. It's got its screws in here. But if I look at the earlier one, mmm, the screws are missing, so it opens up a whole kettle of fish about what exactly was going on uh, with this Let's Go Thomas here. Well, I'll throw some batteries in here. It has me thinking, were they part of the packaging deal? You know, sometimes toys are secured in the box by screws coming up underneath. I dare say my audience will know. Let's get the batteries in. And this first Let's Go Thomas I have has a battery compartment which is in good condition. Uh, all my toys when they're in storage have the batteries taken out because uh, the batteries basically, if they're left in there, kill the toys. And let me get this screw in. And we'll also take a look at the price of this online soon. Okay, the batteries are in this. I've just got to turn it on. It can be manic if this one is a goer. Oh, it works. Why am I surprised? Or why aren't I surprised? Hello, I'm Thomas. Let's bring back memories, isn't there it? There are lots of places to visit on the island of Sodor. If you'd like to go on an adventure, say, let's go, Thomas. Okay. I think, and I wants to do things like that. Let me Wait. just turn it off. Oh. Now, another thing uh, I've noticed, some people were saying it has uh, red glowing cheeks. On the face here. Uh, let's just see if I can see that feature. Actually, I think this Thomas has got a bit of derpy uh, going on for you guys. Let me turn off some lights and turn away some lights and I'll get this Thomas going. Let's see if we can see the cheeks glowing. Hello, I'm Thomas. Might have to there do some edits here to, uh, to get to the point of this happens. Okay, that's the part. It's got glowing cheeks going up Boulder Mountain. It's very subtle. Okay, I've seen it. Let's go to Boulder Mountain. Yeah, it's the Boulder Mountain section where he gets puffy cheeks, and I've got the lights out this time. And I'll just show you how subtle this is. I'll, he's nearly in all total darkness here. There's a DMCA for me. There's a DMCA for me again. I've got to sing over this or I'll get a DMCA again and again. I'll get a DMCA. Of course, the Thomas is singing Boulder Mountain. Yay. Bust my buffers. 
There it is. Mountain track is yeah. Deep. That looks great, doesn't it? You got to be in basically near total darkness to see it. <laughs> if you'd like to go on another adventure, say let's go, Thomas. No, I'd actually like great. to turn you off. Full Hang on. Ahead. What happened to your amazing ability to understand what I'm saying? Let me just turn you off. Okay. Okay, okay. So, uh, we've learned a little bit more. Hey, look, he's got his mouth open there. That one's got the mouth closed, but eyes shut. Mouth open, eyes open. Uh, one of the great Thomas toys, how much is this worth? Okay, I had a few people comment and they were saying, Oh, Leo, it's worth hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I don't think that's actually quite accurate. Um, I think we can find it for a lot less than that. Okay, well I found one here on Amazon. This is a new toy, it says one new, uh, $365. Let's go Thomas by Hit Toy Company. Thomas really talks, he blushes, he sings and plays music, his eyes really move, he chugs along by himself. Yes, I agree, he does all those things. Bit curious, it's only got three stars out of five. Let me just read the customer reviews. That's a surprise, a real mixed bag. Uh, only five star, 44%. A two star, 25%. Someone there saying this toy is a must have for all children who love trains. Another person has given it three stars. They've pointed out it needs lots of space. Another person there says exceptional Thomas toy. This person here's given one star. It says only worked when upside down. And the story goes on to say that it basically became a dysfunctional Thomas. Two star review here. Very frustrating. It says that basically the toy goes around and will end up bumping into something. Five star report there saying perfect Thomas. And a curious four star ranking here, but it does reveal the Walmart price of $49.98, basically 50 US dollars. Okay, that was Amazon. Let's take a look at what I found on eBay. Okay, this is a Let's Go Thomas. The price is US $28.99. It's a buy it now thing. There are four people watching it, and the seller is in the USA. Okay, here's this $28.99 US dollars. Let's Go Thomas. It looks like it's in very good condition. Uh, one tip, if you're putting pictures up on eBay, put something next to it to scale it. Uh, the buyers can't see how spectacularly large this Thomas is by those pictures. Oh, it's worth reading the description. Uh, it says it's got some minor scuffs and scratches, there's no batteries, blah blah blah. Uh, it says the try me and follow me functions work fine. For some reason, regular on function often gets disrupted and needs to be reset when it's used when Thomas is on the ground and able to move around. Now it's funny, reading back on the Amazon, some of the Amazon reports said there were little glitches and stuff going on with this Thomas, so maybe there's a little bit of a design problem going on with the electronics in this toy. So there's a cheapie that's got a bit of a glitch, you can also get one which is rather nice and new if you want, but the ones that I've got here came from my local charity shop and they only cost me a couple of bucks. While I've got the Thomas tubs out from under the house, I do stack up and they are very difficult to get to. Let's take a look at some of my favourite Thomases from my collection. Yes, very much the focus of this video. Let's go Thomas. It is one of my favourites. I do have two of them. I wasn't trying to spam out YouTube and play games. Uh, my thought on that one is you will never see a Thomas toy like that again. I think the toy companies just steer away from complexity. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. This toy here, uh, Diecast 70th Anniversary Thomas, a spectacular Thomas toy. It's got detailing inside there. It's a beautiful metal piece, Thomas, in a sense. It's a shame it's not motorized, I dare say. We could throw a motor in it, couldn't you, if you were eager. This is a Tommy toy, like I showed this one earlier in the video. I think when I saw my son playing with this, it revealed to me just how awesome it is. Again, I don't think we're going to see another Thomas toy like that again, unless miracles happen. It is powered. It's got a power unit up inside there. The Flip Face Thomas, which is a hit toy company, Thomas, uh, spectacular, Thomas. I do have two of these, okay? One I paid a lot of money for, the other one basically came for next to nix. It's like that with Thomas toys. Um, you know, if you sort of know where to look, you can get them for next to nothing. The Barkman Thomas, uh, sorry Hornby fans, uh, Barkman wins. Uh, probably about the only fault of that Thomas is the face. If it just had a better face, man, it'd be a 10 out of 10, Thomas. You cannot go past... Um, the just the classic wooden Thomas and I think the earlier ones uh, is the ones that are most endearing uh, to many people one of the all-time great classic toys um, and wooden railway toys are classic toys and I think uh, for me the Erdl Thomas and I think for many people it's one of the ones which is very highly regarded 
it just had the right shape. Sure, there are a couple of little failings with it, but hey, uh, lots of good memories. Look at the eyes on that one uh, with that Solar Thomas there. Well, for these Thomas toys, it's time to go back into the tubs where they are safe. Except this one here goes up into the house because that one there is my son's. Okay, don't look so cheery. You're going back into the box. Down there. Yeah, so it was nice to get the tubs out from under the house and have a bit of a look in them. I can come and organise them a bit more. I like to keep the plush of the plush and the die cast of the die cast and the wood of the wood. Uh, but there's actually one tub down here, which isn't Thomas, and it's that one there. That's the Diesel collection. Now what I'm finding with Devious Diesel is he is uh, quite difficult to collect. Uh, he's, the, he's sort of like the alter ego to Thomas in a sense in, in the sense of my collection. Uh, I've got some nice ones. It, yeah, I don't know whether these ones here which have batteries in them. Yeah. I mean if that's mint in box, isn't the battery just going to end up killing that toy? Please let me know via comment what to do there, whether I should open it up and pull the battery out. And that will get me to see who's actually watching these videos. Yes, yeah, like if I see it at the right price, I'll grab them. I've got some the beautiful earlier examples as well. I'm not really that keen in mint in box stuff, but hey, sometimes it's nice. and Great little things as examples, isn't it? Um, yeah, and it just goes on and on down there. And one of those play sets there featured the new diesel with the fail magnets. That'll get me into more trouble. I'll go digging down there. Look, there's a whole tub of them down there. Hey, Devious Diesel, gotta love him. Yes, collecting Diesel, uh, that is a challenge, I can tell you. Uh, collecting Thomas, uh, in a funny way, is no challenge at all. Well, I better leave this video here. It's going to probably get you chatting, isn't it? Uh, how am I going to display all this stuff and make any sort of sense out of it? As always, thanks for watching and bye for now.